Adam Lerner and we are back and we are back in that catalog that we created the other day and I wanted to talk about a couple of things that we can do in Lightroom during the import that can save us time that we can let Lightroom do the heavy lifting for us and assign information to our files and help us to organize our files and have it done in the import and that way we can get right into editing so a couple of things that we didn't talk about were file renaming file handling sorting a couple of different things let's get right into file renaming so what you can do while you're importing your files is you can have Lightroom rename them so let's say I wanted this particular wedding to be renamed in my catalog so that I can more easily find these files and instead of them just having a generic name with my initials on it I want to assign these to the client or to the shoot I can select rename files and let's say I want to select custom name and original file number okay I can put some text in there in this case I wrote Dan and Avon because that is the name of the couple and then if I look at the sample it says Dan and Avon and then the file name and then you know NEF which is for the raw file what this means is that when I go to search for Dan and Avon and I do a search in my in my Lightroom catalog these files are always going to come up it also means when I go to export these files or share these files with them it's going to be Dan and Avon plus a number which is a really great thing because when I ultimately share the files with the the client with this couple they're going to see these files as Dan and Avon and then a number and then when they make their selects they can always just give me the number but we know that these are all their files it really saves a lot of time and it saves me the hassle of having to try to rename these during export or at another time another thing is file handling where it says here don't import sus suspected duplicates this is a really cool thing because let's say for example I was out shooting and I and I shot a few hundred images or even 50 or whatever the case may be and I didn't erase the card after I, I shot those images okay and then I went back out and I did another shoot but I'd already imported the images from the first shoot I don't want those images re-imported into Lightroom because all that's going to do is it's going to clutter my catalog and it's going to make more work for me. So I typically select don't import suspected duplicates because that saves me time. All right, another thing we can do is here where it says sort, okay, often if I'm shooting with multiple cameras and I'm going to be importing a whole bunch of different cards, I will select sort by capture time. So what that means is that if I'm shooting two different cards, I don't want images that were shot at the same time to be stacked away from each other. I want Lightroom to be able to say, you know what, these images were shot all around the same time so that I have the sequence of events and when I'm previewing it, I don't have to then go in and try to organize it after the fact because that is very time consuming. So here's just a few other additional enhancements that I wanted to talk about when you're importing images into Lightroom. These are workflow tricks and tips that can save you time. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or email me at adamlearnerphoto at gmail.com. Uh, that's it for now and we will see you soon.